Thank you to your majesty, the queen, and your royal highnesses, Prince Carl Philip and Princess Sophia for hosting such an incredible event. It is an honor to join you today. I'm delighted that the Royal Dyslexia Assembly is coming to New York City next year and that we can carry on the vital work that you have started. Dyslexic thinking is not a disadvantage. It is a different way of thinking and it can transform the world around us. My own dyslexic thinking helped me see the world in new ways to challenge inequality, to see what could be, not just what is. I didn't allow my dyslexia to hold me back, and now I am mayor of New York City. By changing the way we think about dyslexia, we as a society can unlock the untapped potential in those who might feel less than. Our city has failed too many kids whose dyslexic thinking skills were not spotted or supported. When we fail those kids, it produces negative effects down the line. A 2014 study conducted by the Department of Education found that about a third of incarcerated people across the country had difficulty reading simple texts. What if we had screened for dyslexia and caught that earlier? That's why I am extremely excited to be working with the global charity Made by Dyslexia in their mission to train every teacher across the world to empower dyslexic thinkers. We share the same passion to level the playing field and to create school systems in which every dyslexic child thrives. So, Education Chancellor David Banks and all schools in New York City will be taking part in the free training from Made by Dyslexia, starting right now. Because when we invest in our children, we invest in our city's future. The jobs of the future need it, and our children deserve it. I cannot wait to welcome you all at the next World Dyslexia Assembly in New York City in the spring of 2023. Let me again thank your majesty, the queen, and your royal highnesses, Prince Carl Philip and Princess Sophia, for hosting this event.